Now, we'll discuss the uh, proposed 2024 property ad valorem tax rate for the city of Granbury and vote on the proposed tax rate not to exceed 0 .3850 per 100 valuation to be placed on a future agenda. And we need to establish that agenda date, I assume. Okay. Okay. Mr. Kaufman, do you have? So we'll um, uh, have Ava take us through this as well, but this is a uh, vote. Your vote will show up in an article in the newspaper, A or nay, against uh, adopting a rate not to exceed this amount. So I'll let uh, Ms. Gregory talk you through the process of where this is in the range of no new tax revenue or whatever we have to comply with the law with the wording that we have related to rollback, uh, what I call rollback votes or something like that. So we're well with under all that, but go ahead, Ava. Thank you, and I'll try not to be too boring with this, but there's a lot of information that was included on your staff report. Uh, there are many requirements that we have to meet and um, per our charter and uh, code to follow before the tax rate and the budget can be adopted. And uh, one of them is that we have to receive the appraised values, the certified appraised values by July 25th. And at this time, soon after, uh, the chief appraiser the, um, calculates the no new revenue rate and the water approval tax rate. Um, and both of these tax rates, along with the proposed tax rate that you will be voting on, along with some debt information, has to be published in the paper no later than August 7th or as soon thereafter as possible. So the notice will be in the paper on the 10th, August 10th, this Saturday, this coming Saturday. Um, as you've seen, we had received our certified values and they are just right under $2.8 billion. Um, compared to last year, it's a 6% increase or about 150 million valuation increase. From that, about 46 million is for new values added to the tax roll. The tax rates that were calculated are the no new revenue tax rate. The new, no new revenue tax rate is a tax rate that raises the same revenue, property tax revenue for the city when considering the same properties tax both in 2023 and 2024. The no new revenue tax rate for the city is 39.37 cents per $100 valuation. The second tax rate that was calculated for the city is the voter approval tax rate. And per Senate Bill 2, um, it allows the, the cities or municipalities, um, counties to um, approve a voter approval tax rate adjusted for unused incremental rate. The unused incremental rate is a three-year a three year rolling sum that um, is the difference between the actual adopted tax rate and the calculator, calculated voter approval tax rate. So if we adopt a tax rate that's under the voter approval tax rate, we get to bank that for three years and add it to the voter approval rate. For the city, the voter approval tax rate that will be um, published in the paper is 71.81 cents. And lastly, the cities under 30,000 population also calculate the de minimis rate, which is a rate that designed to give a smaller cities or smaller uh, taxing units the flexibility to raise $500,000 more than they have in the previous year. And that tax rate for our city is, let me see, I lost it, um, 44.85 cents. So these are the tax rates along with the tax rate that you are going to be voting on that will be published in the paper. The proposed budget operating budget that you have was prepared based on the 38 and a half cent tax rate. And um, 
I also wanted to mention, um, I didn't want to forget about this, because the proposed tax rate is less than the voter approved tax rate and the no new revenue rate, we actually do not have to have a tax rate hearing. We just have to have um, a public hearing to vote on the tax rate. So at this time, if you will, um, we need to place the proposed adopt, uh, to place um, the property, the proposed property tax rate on a future agenda item, and that's adjusted to be for September 3rd. And I might add and reiterate that the 38.5 is below the no new revenue tax rate of 39.37 and some change. So we're getting down to thousands of a cents. So, so we're proud. We're happy. We're, we're satisfied that we can operate our city with that number. If you want to adopt a rate to exceed larger than that, now's the time to speak. Uh, believe me, there's plenty of streets to pave and uh, infrastructure to rebuild. So that's where we're at. Discussion? Mr. Corgan? Mr. Woodley? So we're, if we do 38.5, it's the same as last year and considerably lower than all these other options that we have. Yes. Correct? And there are everything, all the other options that are available to us are higher than that. If we adopt the 38 and a half, then we stay at the same level as last year. Yes, okay, and we do you. not have to have a public hearing. Mr. Overdue, Mr. Bale, yes, no, no comments, no questions. Okay. So this would be a motion to um, adopt the proposed 2024 property ad valorem tax rate for the city of Granbury, not to exceed. 0 0.3850 per hundred thousand valuation, and it will be placed on a future agenda. Future agenda for adoption. Do we need to set the adoption the agenda date? September 3rd. That would be the September third as well. Okay. So the motion is to adopt the proposed 2024 the ad valorem tax rate for the city of Granbury and approve the proposed tax rate not to exceed 0 0.3850 per 100,000 valuation and to place the motion on a agenda on the agenda the Granbury City Council agenda of September the 3rd at 6 p.m. Right. Per, per 100 value yes per 100 valuation so moved and place it on the on the agenda for adoption. So I'll move September third. Second. Okay. No other discussion. Okay. I have a motion, and I have a second. All in favor? In fact, it's not that. It's Mr. Corrigan. How do you say yay or nay? Yay. Mr. Corrigan says yay. Mr. Wadley. Aye. Aye. I'll spell it Y A Y. Jarrett says yay, and Vale. And Mr. Oberdeer? Aye. I thought that was going to come in German. All right. That will pass with five ayes as recorded, right? You good? Right. Unanimous. Okay.